All right, part two. Part two is when I start to thin it. Yep. Okay. It's ready for thinning. Ready as it, it will ever be. Now, I can probably be better prepared, but uh, I'm just going to call it good and say it's ready for thinning. Yeah. Let me see. Yeah, I gotta focus on this because it's a it's a technique. Yeah. Come on. Okay, it's eating the aluminum for lunch. All right, thin it, thin it, thin it. I'm not going to worry too much about how pretty it is. Just thin it down without cutting myself. I can feel those flakes hitting my finger, but... I want the feedback. I don't want to have the glove interfere with the thinning. Yeah, I like that. Oh, kind of, sort of. I can do that with a pressure flaker. Is it flat? It's not really that flat. I need some good flattening flakes. What's a flattening flake? It goes far and spreads out wide. Far and wide, that's a flattening flake. Not like that. That's a scooping flake. That doesn't help anybody. In fact, that makes it worse. Okay, I lost energy in the strike. That's, it doesn't complete the flake. It just scoops it out, or the angle's wrong, or something went wrong. I don't think it's a tough spot in the stone. I'm going to get the steel out. It could be that, too. It's just eating the aluminum for lunch. Let's see. All right, ready? I'm gonna strike very, very hard. Let's see if it did it. Oh, it, it did it okay. It's okay, kinda sorta. Let's see if it did it. No, it tried to do it. it tried to go more than halfway. It had a little bitty, a, a little bitty portion right there that tried to make it. That's not going to do it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Come on. Ready? Let's see if I can do it. Did it do it? Yes. Okay. That one traveled. Good. I'm learning to flit nap again. I'm still rusty. Or I feel like I am because I'm, I'm just guessing. I feel like I'm guessing if those flakes are going to travel or not. <laughs> okay. Come on. I just need this 
to be thin. Just thin without crushing. That's all I want. All right, so can it be flatter? It can be. Yes. I need to get rid of that lump. This is flat here, but this lump, there's a lump in the middle here. So I need to find a way to sneak in there. Hmm. Let me symmetrize it first. Make it a little more symmetrical. And that'll set me up better for the next batch of flakes going in. Back up to 60? No, we're up to 55 degrees. Why am I paying attention to that? It's because I still got a month or two of cold weather and I want to make sure it's working all right. Yep. Yeah. And I'm just saying whatever comes to, whatever pops in my head. Get rid of that lump right there. Hold on. Oh, yes. The steel is working well. But not like that. Not like that. See, don't do that. It's working well until you say it's working well, and then it says, I'm not working that well. The stone tells you, I'm not working that well. Watch. It doesn't like compliments. No, nope. doesn't. The stone does not know how to handle compliments. No. Okay. Stupid stone. Yeah. I can't compliment it. So what I'm doing is I'm just getting rid of thick spots along the edge. I don't like those thick spots because they're difficult to pressure flake. When I, once I get down to sharpening, I want nice, you know, relatively thin areas so that I don't have to push too hard on the pressure flaker to get a flake to go in there and, you know, make it nice and neat. If I have to remove too much mass with the pressure flaker, sometimes I can't do it and it turns out not so neat. All right, so here we go. I'm going to flatten this lump. Yeah, all right. The other side is rounded. I just got to make, see how flat this, this is flat right there on that side. So I got to make the rest of it like that. This flake right here helped a lot. So I don't know, maybe I, I can do another flake like that from this side. It's a strategy. And I never strategize like this. Nope. I don't ever do that. You hear the bell? Every hour on the hour, there's a church right there. Two houses down. All right. Okay, cross fingers. Oh, look at that. Voila. And the church bells ring in celebration. Mm -hmm. All right, then I gotta finish this up. Flatten it more if I can.
Oh yeah, it's Sunday, isn't it? That's where the church bells are. Ringing more than usual. Yeah. Usually just ticks off the, the hour. Sounds off the hour. Okay, so it's starting to get flat enough to where I can just start shaping the outside. Yep, yep, yep. I probably don't need the pressure flake at all that much. So, but the, you know, there's still a lump there. I want to get rid of that little bitty lump. Famous last words. I know. What do I think about this thinning strategy? I don't know. It's a little bit dicey. There might be a better way to do it than what I'm doing. It's dicey because it, you know, it doesn't want to be thinned in that way. It wants to be thinned in the regular way where both sides are convex and not one side not flattened. It likes both sides to be convex. That's what it likes. Uh, if it likes anything. Yeah. The stone is like Mikey. He won't cooperate. He eats everything. All right, let's see. You don't, you don't know that commercial? You don't. It means you're too young. Too young to be watching the channel. You try it. No, you try it. I'm not going to try it. You try it. Hey, let's get Mikey. He won't eat it. He hates everything. They get Mikey to do it. He starts eating it and he goes, and they go, he, he likes it. Hey, Mikey. <laughs> yeah. So the, it, the same with the stone. It doesn't like anything. And when, uh, when it does, it's a big surprise. Yeah. If it cooperates, it's a surprise. Surprise. Can't believe it. Yeah, so yeah, you run flakes into a flat area and that's what you get. You know? I knew I was gonna get it, but I did it anyway. Yeah. So now I gotta try to pop that out, which isn't too difficult because this is not a big point. If it was a, a very wide point. It, it would probably be very difficult to get that west little flake out of there. Oh, I hit it too hard. I scooped it a little bit. Did I scoop it? I kind of did. But I think I can get over that. Yeah, I think I can overcome that. Did I go overcome it? Ah, yes. It is getting pretty flat. If I do say so myself, it's almost curved. That's the other danger of doing it this way. Installing a curve. That's why it's dicey. Many reasons. All right, so I'm just gonna take off the lumpy areas if I can. And continue to try to make it a little, more, little bit flatter. Let's see. Do it. It did it. All right. So it can't be too rounded. And I think 
Didn't I already flatten that once before? I don't know. It was already pretty flat down here near the stem. So I don't know what I'm doing. It's just not flat enough. Right? Right. Yeah. Okay. Fifteen minutes. I think I can finish this up in five minutes. Yeah. Not much more to go. I gotta flatten the bottom here without installing a curve. As a thinning strategy, this takes a little bit of finesse, which is difficult for new guys. New guys don't have finesse. Even though some of the old guys, they don't have finesse. I have trouble with finesse. I just expedientize everything. I don't really... I don't really focus on technique all that much. I'll try different things, but you know, if it works, it works. If it doesn't, switch it out. I'm not attached to any particular method other than indirect percussion. I like it. I try to switch it out. But this is a particular strategy for th thinning, I think. That's just my opinion. There's no other good reason for me to do it this way because it's dicey. Yeah, it just seems kind of risky to thin it like this. But that's the only, the only reason I can think of that would make sense. Other than... Other than uh, maybe they're trying to preserve the cortex... Like this is the good part of the cortex and they want to skim off all of the bad stuff so they ended up they end up skimming as so much off that it flattens one side i suppose there's different reasons why they would do it this way yeah and uh just to throw a little monkey wrench into the whole thing not all of them were like this of this type only uh not only, but not all of them were were uh, plano convex, P L A N O plano convex. Not all of them were like that. So there were some that were not. So that throws a little wrench into it. Like you know, I guess sometimes they didn't see it, the advantage, or it just didn't work out. I don't know. Okay, so. Two minutes. Can I finish it out in two minutes? Yeah, if I don't do any pressure flaking on it. But I need to finish that with pressure. Yeah. Just to make it nice. Where's my... Don't tell me I don't have that either. You know, I got, I have one more short handle pressure flaker that has a better tip on it. It has a strong steel tip. Where is it? I lost it. I lost it. I'm going to get my other one. It's not that great. It's worn down. I forgot to get new nails. I forgot, I forgot to put new nails in these. So yeah, quickly finish it out. <laughs> All right. There we go. I think it had a flat base. Flat base? Flat base. How thin? I don't know. I don't. I did not get a side view on the when I did the research on this. One of these days, I'll start putting side views in. To 
through these online databases. Some of the online databases have side views. Those are the good ones. I, should, I say it's some. There's like only one. <coughs> Actually, that's really good. And I, I forget. I haven't been on that site in a long time. I forget what it is. What it's mostly arrow points. And mostly from the uh, northwest coast. Anyway. All right, so let's let's finish this out. Twenty minutes. Yeah, I'm gonna start going back to kind of rushing through these so I can get them done quickly. Like I said, the, the upload times are still not that great here, even though it, you know, you you check the speed of the internet connection and it seems okay until you start uploading a YouTube video and it slows down to a crawl yeah six hours for an hour and a half video or whatever however long it was I think it was six hours so yeah that's why I it ended up being posted early in the morning because it was uploading all night. You should be able to see it at least the first half of this tonight. Yeah. That's not good. That's not good. I'm not paying attention. Yeah, I'm not paying attention. I should have saw that. I should have seen that coming. Thank you. No worries. Just push on the front of that step fracture, right? If you're lucky, it works. Okay. What am I doing? I'm going to sharpen it. Yeah. Did it get sharp? Not yet. Almost. Oh, where's my file? That works even better during this stage. Oh, yes. Naps well, but it's tough. But it's good in a way. In this particular case, it's good because then it'll hold the edge. Come on, don't be crushing. No, not like that. Come on, I don't want to take off too much of the edge just to get this uncrushed. The uh, tip is rather wide on the real ones. Not pointy. Okay, come on. It's crushing. Yep, it's crushing a lot. Okay. All right, which means I'm going to take it down a lot. Dang it.
Why do I have to take it down a lot? So I can get a good purchase on it. So it won't crush. Start from up here. Get used to it. And hopefully when it gets down to the nitty gritty, down near the tip, I'm already used to it. And it won't crush. Excuse me while I zone out a little bit. Besides this, space heater turned back on. I don't want to be tucking over the space heater if I don't have to. I can't remember if some of these are serrated. Come on. I thought you was good stone. Not all crushy crunchy. I can get rid of the crunches if I just dull it a lot. But I want it to be sharp. It says you only get one thing you can't have both you can't have clean and sharp it's going to be sharp and crunchy or clean and dull yeah come on i insist on it being sharp and clean yes 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 No, it's not going to do it. It does it here on this side. Down here. Yeah, I can push on it all day long down here. That doesn't crush. But up there. Story of my life. 28 minutes. Yeah, it's going to take a while to upload this one. I don't know. I think these might be ground down here. I don't know. I'll fix it. I'm not going to grind it right now. If it needs to be ground down, down here, and if it's too wide, I need to look it up again. I'll fix it on the next segment. Yeah. All right. So hopefully that looks flattened on one side and, and, uh, convex on the other it looks convex on both sides actually but one side I hope is flatter than the other if I continue to to knock flakes off in this direction it'll look more convex in this direction or on this side Messed up the symmetry. Little bit. Yeah. 
so the more I flake on this side the more convex it gets it, as, as it gets more narrow yeah but it's hard to do it like that with percussion you know it's hard to start with a flat side here and then percuss your way up over the top and maintain the convexity because you, you scoop out a lot with the percussion but with pressure you can kind of skim the flakes over by not driving deep flakes you know just simple short flakes I suppose you can drive simple short flakes with percussion too so yeah smarty pants out there says you can do it with percussion with short flakes okay I keep messing with it because I want it to look flat on this side I don't know it doesn't look that flat it kind of does It's still, I don't want to take up, take too many more flakes in this direction because then I'll get a diving flake if it's too flat. Anyway, so that's it. That's the point. It's not that complicated as far as the overall shape. It's just the, the technique. Yeah. And I don't know if it's ground down down here. It might be. If it is, I'll fix it on the next segment. Or I'll do one more little segment on it. This side is more rounded than this side. Yeah, I scooped it too much on this side. So to get it more rounded, I guess you just do pressure, more pressure flaking over the top of that side. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, all right. So there you go. Nice translucent material. It wasn't bad. It was okay. As far as nappability goes. It, it's a tough raw chert. But in a way it's good that way. Because the edge feels really sharp. Yeah. Alright. There you go.